President Biden's visit to Oklahoma comes amid America's national reckoning on racial injustice, prompted by the murder last year of George Floyd at the hands of a police officer. As Mr. Biden toured a cultural center dedicated to the Tulsa atrocity, he said he'd come to fill the silence about one of the nation's darkest and long suppressed moments of racial violence. For much too long, the history of what took place here was told in silence, cloaked in darkness. But just because history is silent, it doesn't mean that it did not take place. And while darkness can hide much, it erases nothing. It erases nothing. Some injustices are so heinous, so horrific, so grievous, they can't be buried, no matter how hard people try. On May 31st and June 1st, 1921, a white mob, including some people deputized by authorities, looted and burned Tulsa's Greenwood District, which was known as Black Wall Street. As many as 300 black Tulsans were killed and thousands of survivors were forced for a time into internment camps overseen by the National Guard. The horrific violence was suppressed and hidden for decades. Uh, the involvement of authorities in arming uh, the white uh, rioters uh, suppressed. The Tulsa newspaper, when it bound its volumes, uh, removed the pages uh, covering uh, the Tulsa massacre. And throughout the 1920s, there was a uh, heightened discrimination against African Americans, which worked hand in glove with the attempt to cover up uh, this horrific set of crimes. Now, how important is it that Joe Biden attended yesterday's ceremony? It's important in two respects. One is it signals African Americans that this is a president who cares deeply uh, about racial issues. And that comes at a time that there are two pieces of legislation, one police reform and another voting protection that is stalled in the U.S. Congress, and the president is trying to rally public support behind those bills so that the Republicans will not uh, filibuster them. Uh, now, he's used uh, the event to push for greater to speak about greater racial equality in America. Is he making any progress? Have the events of last year, of course, the murder of George Floyd and those subsequent uh, Black Lives Matter protests, made any difference? The events of the last year have heightened our awareness of racial equality in several respects. One, racial injustice by, by the justice system, including the police, and secondly, equalities in health uh, and financial well-being that meant more African Americans attracted the COVID bite, uh, um, more uh, died, more were hospitalized, more had to work as frontline workers. In that respect, we have more information about racial equality, but we haven't had any acts that will reduce that equality.